Hi, this is Nadi at Elite Wave Forex with your daily analysis for the British pound US dollar pair for the trading session dated Monday, 26th of January 2015. Cable unfolded as expected and first target was reached and exceeded. Today's main count expects the second target to be reached since the five wave structure is incomplete. On the other hand, the alternate count expects that my note wave 5 bank is unfolding as an ending diagonal and that it has more to offer drifting toward the downside. As always, we will wait for either count's confirmation point to be met to determine the highly probable count. On the daily chart, this count expects that Wibon plaque is unfolding toward the downside and that Wibon plaque is at its very late stages. Wibon plaque is unfolding as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 plus with waves 1 through 4 plus are complete and with 5 plus is unfolding toward the downside. With 3 plus unfolded as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink with wave 3 pink unfolding as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green. Following the completion of wave 4 plus, it's expected that wave 5 pink is unfolding toward the downside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 pink with wave 3 pink unfolding as a clear 5 wave structure labeled waves 1 through 5 green. This count expects that wave 4 pink is unfolding as an expanded flat correction and we have two targets for the completion of wave 4 pink. The first target is at 1.5205 as at that level wave 4 pink will reach 0.236 the length of wave 3 pink. The second target is at 1.5296 as at that level wave 4 pink will reach 0.382 the length of wave 3 pink. This count would be invalidated by movement above 1.5540 as wave 4 pink may not enter the price territory of wave 1 pink. As well this count would be invalidated by movement below 1.4951 as we then we see within 4 pink no second wave may retrace more than 100% the length of the first wave. We will move now to the hourly chart from the end of wave 2 green to view the latest downwards movement within wave 5 flow. On the hourly chart this count expects that wave 3 pink is complete as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 green with wave 3 green unfolding as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 orange while wave 4 green unfolded as a double zigzag labeled waves W, X and Y orange. It's worth mentioning that the subdivisions within wave 5 green was ambiguous at best and that it's very unclear whether this downwards movement was a corrective structure or an ending diagonal. Following the completion of wave 3 pink, wave 4 pink is expected to be unfolding as an expanded flat correction labeled waves A, B and C green. Wave A green unfolded as a zigzag labeled A, B and C orange and as well with B green unfolded as a zigzag toward the downside. It's expected that wave C green is unfolding toward the upside as an impulse labeled waves 1 through 5 orange with waves 1 and 2 orange complete and wave 3 orange is underway. Within wave 3 orange, waves 1 through 3 purple are complete and this count expects slight downwards movement to complete with 4 purple before reversing directions and moving toward the upside to complete with 5 purple and therefore with 3 orange. This count would be confirmed by movement above 1.5107 and we have a target for the completion of wave 3 orange at 1.5116 as at that level of 3 orange will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 orange. This count would be invalidated by movement above 1.5540 as wave 4 pink may not enter the price territory of wave 1 pink. As well this count would be invalidated by movement below 1.4978 as within wave 3 orange no second wave may retrace more than 100% the length of the first wave. It should be noted that the invalidation point will be moved to the end of wave 1 orange once we have confirmation on the hourly chart that of 3 orange is underway. If that lower invalidation point was met, we will move automatically to the alternate hourly chart and the alternate count expects that wave 1 pink has started and that it's unfolding toward the downside as an ending diagonal. Within ending diagonals, all subwaves are expected to unfold as zigzags. Within this ending diagonal, waves 1 and 2 green are expected complete with wave 1 green unfolding as a zigzag labeled A, B and C orange and with 2 green unfolded toward the upside as a zigzag labeled A, B and C orange. This count expects that wave 3 green is going to unfold to the downside as a zigzag structure. It would be confirmed that wave 3 green is unfolding to the downside by movement below 1.4978 and we have a target for the completion of wave 3 green at 1.4946 as at that level wave 3 green will reach 0.618 the length of wave 1 green. This counts invalidation point is at 1.5107 as within wave 3 green no B wave may retrace more than 100% the length of an A wave. So to wrap this up, 
Today's main count expects Cable to continue moving toward the upside to complete with 3 orange, while the alternate count expects Cable to drift toward the downside to complete an ending diagonal and therefore we won't lock. That's all for me today, happy trading and have a nice day.